Tenelovi still holding on to his cash here. The Solar Crest, Pylai Dice still with that Blink Dagger. And Arcane Boots and Arteezy, he's got a casual Hyperstone sitting oh, there. Is... And they just run in. The Creep Wave, well, is it really close enough? No. Oh, well, they have to use the Fortification. Oh, Thank Gene God! Trouble. So close! The Creep Wave will spawn up, soaking up a little bit more of that Omni Slash. But Arteezy, remember what they came here for? They were trying to bring down the Rack, but they're forced into a fight. Concocted some holds Arteezy in position, but he doesn't even really care. The game gets paused oh. as this attack is going on. The Alchemist is in the middle of Chemical Rage, and Arteezy and Envy don't look really that right, interested to kill him off, so... Let's give it a crack. The Rack is the primary target. Pardai gets the Sun on a low heart, keeps him out of play. And now Team Secret, they back out. FNG jumps forward. The There's the Finger of Death, and Eternal Envy keeps the spin going. With a Sun over on God, they finish up the range Rex and God, he's trapped inside the Sprout, he can't get back out, this is not the dream right now, Yoku trying to kill off Universe with a follow up from FNG, catching out three, this is what they need with the Black Hole from Poppy, easily cancelled, the Dark Cross Stamina, the MVP right now for VP, able to get the kill, MVP back into his spin, but he's going to drop this wall, remember the Aegis Immortal is still available for him, or is he? No he's not, Arteezy has Ow. an ultra kill, VP are all down for the count, Eternal Envy will survive, they'll have healing ward in seven seconds, time all they gotta do is go top